Hello Biotechnicals. This is Dr. Farhan Zameer from Biotechnica Bangalore. For today, we have a great news for all the researchers. And the news is, we are trying to decipher the top 10 resources and tools, which is a must for research. Now, what are these tools? Let's try to dive in. Welcome back. With the preamble, I told you we are looking for the top 10 resources and tools which are used in research. Now, if you are a researcher, it, you know, doesn't matter whether you are doing your project work, whether you are doing your dissertation work, or you are pursuing your PhD or postdoc, or you are a faculty or a scientist in any of these universities or R&D. Now, remember, these 10 tools is a must for any researcher in life sciences, especially in bioinformatics and biotechnology. So let's try to look into the first tool, a very important tool, and this is the Google Scholar. Now remember, there is a plugin onto the Google Scholar and you need to always look into it that any point of time, if you are searching for a literature, now Google Scholar is the first hand information resource which will provide you data in no time. And also remember, it gives you much more authentication, so it is trustable. So for me, Google Scholar comes on number one for any kind of handy literature what I am searching for. Now the second is the Grammarly. Now remember, in research, writing proposals, writing dissertation copies, writing small abstracts, if you're going for a presentation some way, again, writing up a proceeding, everything comes, you know, uh, as a difficult note. And now, not everybody will be having the skill of writing. And also remember, writing is a great skill which only comes with a, a successive practice. So if you think that on one overnight, I will just get up and then start writing, not possible. So what I would suggest is, please try to download this tool, which is called as Grammarly. And now you have two versions. One is a free version and the other one is the premium version. Right now, you can just download the free version and see how best you can write emails, how best you can rectify your grammar mistakes and how best you can frame sentences. So I would recommend Grammarly strongly for all budding researchers. Now, the third one, very important one is the typeset IO. So again, this you have on the two modes, one is a premium mode and the other one is uh, a free mode. So initially what I request you people is try on the free mode, the free version and then the major advantage of typeset is for formatting of any of your research papers. Now, you, you name a research paper either which is indexed on Scopus or Web of Science, Elsevier, any of the international publishers, this is the format is already there on typeset. So this is a huge advantage for you, wherein you can just put your manuscript and the manuscript will be automatically formatted. Because as you know, on a manual formatting of the, uh, the manuscript, it takes almost hours to days to format on a preciser way. And there are a lot of rejections if you are not doing it in a right pattern. And for me, typeset is a, a beautiful aid which can format it in, uh, format your manuscript in no time. So remember, typeset is very, very important. Now, the fourth one is the image J. Now, image J is an NCBI tool that is National Center for Biotechnology Information. Now, image J plays a very, very important role, especially when you are trying to analyze your uh, 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 PCR gels or if you are analyzing your microscopic data, all your micrograms, chromatograms, anything which has a color, which has to be intensified, which could be converted from a qualitative data to a quantitative data could be done with image J. And remember, this is a free tool which could be used on your desktop. So make sure you, in, to, you analyze all your images, process all your data using this particular image J. And remember, image J works on a beautiful platform of Java. The other tool is the draw.io. So the draw.io plays a crucial role, especially when you're trying to make up uh, the flowcharts, when you're trying to make up summary figures. So this uh, draw 
draw.io plays a crucial role and I strongly recommend draw.io for putting up all your pictures, your mind maps and most of the time the flow charts, especially in terms of methodology, this is a, of a great help. Now, next one is on the list is the, the graph pad prism. Now, the graph pad prism becomes very, very important especially once you finish your you know execution of your experiments and once you are trying to put it into its graphical mode now with the statistics graph pad helps you to analyze all the data compare between the groups within the groups among the groups so that this will play a very very important role especially in terms of your statistics so graph pad is one strong recommendation what i would suggest the next on the list is EndNote and you know, uh, I, I am sure that many of your researchers, you will be using it. Now the EndNote is mainly used for referencing, that is mainly for bibliography. Imagine that I am writing a big review and with this big review, I have around 150 literature. Now citing this 150 literature, especially in a systematic mode, whether it is an Oxfordian system or it is an Cambridge or API module. So, you know, making this is a big headache. Now, what we do is on an end note, as you're writing your manuscript in the same way, the draft itself will create that end note as a library and you can have your reference ready once your manuscript is ready. So this comes very, very handy. The next on the list is the Zotero, you know, Zotero plays also a very, very crucial role and especially for bibliographic and uh, re referencing. Now, the major advantage of Zotero is you start typing a particular concept and in your Zotero library, if there is something which is matching, so this actually deviates, this actually diverts you onto that particular reference saying that, do you want to add this particular reference onto the site of that particular literature? Now, over a click of button, you can just incorporate that reference and the same reference will go into the running text and onto the end text. So, so this becomes a great advantage when you are writing your manuscript. Now, the next on the list is Mendeley. Now, when we have a, a, a set of literature example, we have downloaded so many PDFs, okay, in terms of, you know, knowing uh, the updates of the literature or to know what exactly, where do I stand in terms of my review or where do I stand in terms of my research, I need to download the previous work which will be already been executed by other researchers. Now, in this process, I keep on downloading so many PDFs and now, managing this PDF itself becomes a great uh, problem. So this chaos could be very easily solved by a great tool which is called as Mendeley. I strongly recommend for the PDF managers, for the reviewer, uh, review management, you know, I would strongly recommend Mendeley for it. Then, nowadays everybody is working on big data. Now, either I have the genomic data or I have the microbiome data or I have the sequencing data and the data is so huge. Now, initially we were having flash drives, then we had this big uh, you know, hard disk and right now the data is so huge that I am not able to manage on a hard disk. So what we do is we actually use a cloud. And the advantage of the cloud is no matter what type of computer you are using, it would be just an input device and all your pipelines, all your specially bioinformatic pipelines, they work on uh, the Amazon EC2 uh, cloud and which is, which has to be subscribed and you know, your data is secured. Nobody can, uh, you know, uh, actually copy your data. And very importantly, the data is there. The data is always secure. Whatever happens to your hard disk on your computer does not matter. Your data is still running there. So I would strongly recommend people who are working on with big data, which has a lot of information, uh, which has to be processed. I strongly recommend Amazon Web Services, which are a must for big data. The last on the list is the Notion. Notion is an again, it's a free app and this will enable you to have a track of what exactly is your deadline. Now, it will help you to plan your day in terms of your scientific experimentation. Also, if you are trying to put up a manuscript and you know if that manuscript has come for a review and you now know that, you know, this review has to be submitted in the next 15 days or next 10 days, Notion gives you a particular, you know, deadline saying that it gives you a particular reminder saying that we need to complete this otherwise you know that would lead into a problem so this will actually act as your personal assistant in helping you in doing good science so these are the top 10 resources 
wherein all researchers should have th these kind of tools on the computer so that you, this will facilitate your easy and smooth going of your research. So with all the best wishes, I hope that you actually download all these things and try it out. And if you are facing any difficulty on any of the tool, please make a, um, a comment on it. Okay, leave a, a message and so that we can create an exclusive video on that particular software so that facilitating good research is the aim of Biotechnica. Thank you very much. All the very best.